Recently, some workers in South Carolina were being paid as little as five cents per hour, and it was legal. But after years of work, a law is now in effect that puts a stop to that. State House reporter Mary Green has those details for us tonight. A federal law that's been on the books since the 1930s allows certain employers to pay workers with disabilities less than the minimum wage. But South Carolina is now the 13th state in the nation to abolish this practice. If you're making sub minimum wage, less than minimum wage, then you're going to be on um, some government assistance programs. Um, you're going to be in poverty and, and really have no way out. Data shows that just a few years ago, around 4,000 people in South Carolina were working in what are known as sheltered workshops and other settings in which they earned sometimes mere cents or just a few dollars per hour. Governor Henry McMaster actually signed the bill, getting rid of the sub minimum wage allowance into law in 2022. But for the last two years, a task force has been working to help thousands of people who had been working in these settings to transition into regular employment or other opportunities. That phase out period just ended at the start of August, officially making it illegal in South Carolina to pay a worker less than the minimum wage. We still have work to do. We still have challenges to address, but this is a very big deal for people with disabilities in South Carolina. And as part of this law, a new Employment First Commission will soon be established to continue the task force's work and to help more people in South Carolina with disabilities work toward employment. Reporting from the State House, I'm Mary Green. Disability advocates say since South Carolina passed this law more than two years ago, more states have also enacted legislation to end sub-minimum wage in their states.